hello and welcome in today's video we're going to be making a start on turning abandoned neglected grazing land into garden it's been neglected for so long we even have young oak trees growing where's the oak here it is <laughs> this is an oak tree it's been here a while judging by the fatness of its little trunk I think we might let it stay the first challenge I have to deal with while turning this into a gardening space is this big tuft of brambles behind me more than a tuft a hillock a mound <laughs> a jungle I've already made a start uh, this very muddy dirty looking section is where I was clearing yesterday afternoon and today I plan to tackle the rest of this heap so let's get in for a closer look and see how I plan to get rid of these brambles for good I have a few basic tools to help me with today's task of clearing these brambles firstly a piece of waterproof sheeting to put on the floor or some sort of knee protection so that you can get down and dirty close to where the problem is most importantly a big thick heavy pair of leather gloves so I can grab hold of these bramble stems and deal with them without prickling my hands so good solid leather pair of gloves to protect your hands from these sharp spiky prickles is what you're looking for along with a set of secateurs to chop up the stems that we want to clear and get rid of and this tool is a mattock it's a sort of axe type tool with a flat chiseling head at one end and a, sometimes it has an another chisely end here facing in the opposite direction but mine happens to have a spiky piece at the back and this is an excellent tool for grubbing up those bramble roots out of the ground or any other weed root for that matter really useful tool be cautious using it as I say mine's got a spike at the back and I want to use this chisel end so in swinging it around you don't want this spike coming back and hitting yourself nasty injury fantastic tool does a brilliant job so I'll find my bramble stem let's get one that's closer to me here and what I want to do is trace it back to its roots so I'll cut off one end and these are awkward because they're buried in the grassland so scraping the grass aside and I'm going to bring you closer and give you a real good look at what's going on at ground level. So with your long brambly stems, we first want to cut these back close to the bramble root, leaving about six inches sticking out of the ground. So with the long brambly stems, we just want to chop them up and clear them away. I find it best to burn them and then they're definitely gone for good and never going to grow. And we cut back all our stems until we get to the point that our bramble root here has still got stems on it so we've got something to get hold of. So I've left about 8 inches to a foot of stem sticking up out the ground. And this is where the mattock comes into play and I'm, the brambles have quite a shallow root and there should be a knobbly potato like lump under here and I can actually see this has got little new buds starting to show for this year's growth so I dig around the bramble because I want to get all of it loosening up the soil and digging and chopping then I can grab hold of this with my nice thick leathery gloves give it a tug and a pull 
sorry I'm flicking soil at you I'm just going to shake the soil off of this root so we can have a real good look at it I'll even take my glove off for this bit <laughs> so this is this year's nice new growth coming to create more problems so we've solved that one already before it gets started try not to touch the spike so at the base of our spiky stem there's all the information the bramble plant needs to grow there's this hard knobbly lumpy bit and then all the roots so we have stems at the top thin spiny roots at the bottom but there's this knobbly lump in the middle and that's the most important bit to be clearing and getting rid of it has all the information a bramble needs to grow if you leave a bit of this behind it can grow a new shoot and new roots a sort of stem cell I suppose <laughs> So these little fibrousy roots don't really matter if they're left in the ground. You must get all of this little round knobbly bit though, or it will regrow. And obviously we want to get rid of the spiky stems on top. So just chopping them all down and making it look level and flat is not going to work because this knobble will sh send up nice new shoots of growth and start your bramble patch growing again. It's really important to get this rooty lump out of the ground and this bramble will never trouble you again. Well, not if you burn it. Definitely don't put it in the compost bin. It'll just sprout and start regrowing and give you no end of problems. Burning is definitely the best solution for brambles. You can guarantee 100% they're never going to come back and trouble you again. Let's see if we can get another one. What have we got here? We're a bit out of shot. Can we swing you around? Don't know. No idea what you can see because I can't see the screen. The sun's shining on you. I'm going to cut off its long pieces and get into the root of the problem not really necessary to clear all this grassiness with your fingers but I want you to be able to see what's going on and then in with a mattock another option something I have done in the past shove my secateurs in to the soil and cut so I'm in underneath I'm cutting and go all the way around the base of the plant You'll still have that longer tap root going into the ground. Violent wriggle. Come at it from the other angle. Ugh. So I'm cutting all those little roots around it. I'll just shake the dirt off. But most importantly, I'm getting this little centre core structure. I've got roots below and stem above and all of this bit. And just like our other one, that's this bramble done for. So, I have a lot to clear today. See how I get on. And before I set to my task, I thought we'd have a bit of a before and after. So where are we? Um, is that the, I'm not sure what I can see. I've got the sun shining in my eyes. Oh, there we go. There's my bucket and work tool. So, there's my task for today. Can we clear it all? I'll take a photo and I can see what I'm taking a picture of. Oh my goodness. End of my second afternoon, hacking away at these brambles and we've finished, yay! <laughs> yeah, you can't imagine how happy I am, you really can't. My Builder's Yard dumpy bag is now absolutely full to the brim and bulging up the seams. And um, this area is clear of brambles. It is huge. I'm going to hang you on the fence and walk myself around it. It's a huge circular area, bigger than it looked 
because it spread out into the grassland and was covered in grass so you couldn't see that extra two foot all the way around the hill of brambles but it's done now boy chop down i feel so happy and tomorrow i'm going to take a rest day i've spent two afternoons hacking away at that but i'm really pleased that's that job done and that's that particular patch cleared and that's really good to know those brambles won't be coming back so i'll keep an eye on it over the next year just to make sure nothing starts popping up from something i might have just missed or a root i didn't quite get out but i'm pretty confident i've cleared everything and this area is going to be clear of brambles forever <laughs> as long as I don't let anything start growing there again. Hooray, my lovely cleared patch of ground. Ready to plant something much nicer. Maybe a fruit tree would like it here. The dog's been having a lovely happy day too while I've been busy clearing brambles. Oh, such fun. I just couldn't resist filming her for a moment. Bye for now and make sure you keep having fun too.